All right, welcome back in another Garnet Trust exclusive interview. Our special guest today is DeAndre Jules, transfer from Pitt, just arrived at South Carolina about a week ago. We're going to talk to DeAndre about his path ending up at South Carolina. DeAndre, I know you're getting settled in over there, man. Uh, how's the first week been? And we appreciate you taking the time today. Appreciate you for having me. Uh, first week's been tough. I ain't gonna lie, you know, uh, work has been tough, but I'm getting through it. Um, it's a lot of competitiveness, competitiveness here at South Carolina, and I'm just ready to go. Put the pads on and walk in, um, getting started for the season. For sure. So, uh, DeAndre, I, I guess uh, the first question we kind of ask everybody is, is why South Carolina? Once you hit the portal and started hearing from teams, you started hearing from coaches, what was it about South Carolina once you kind of started to break things down? I know you took a visit here as well. What was it about the Gamecocks that led you to Columbia? Right, yeah. So, you know, when I first got here, they had like a banner here that said, welcome home. And I truly felt that home like, like uh, mentality, that home experience. You know, they uh, welcomed me here with open arms. And then you know, once I got here, you know, I toured the place, the campus, the facilities, you know, talked to the coaches. Everything felt like it came together. Um you know, like I said before, it's, it felt like a home environment. Uh, and I had, I felt like um, I had the best opportunity here, you know, going forward and uh, leveling up my uh, draft stock and, you know, possibly winning the championship here. I, I always think it's interesting talking to guys who have gone the portal route, just about that process of, of entering the portal, kind of restarting your recruitment. Um, w what was that like to put your name in and kind of, Maybe not know who's going to reach out, who uh, you know, which schools might be interested. Was uh, what was it an exciting time? Was it a nerve wracking time? What yeah. was that like to kind of hit the portal and just wait on your Twitter DMs to, to start blowing up? <laughs> right. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Um, you know, that first first couple of days, um, it was kind of quiet. Not going to lie, mm -hmm. but you know, after those days, that's when everything started getting crazy. Um, you know, going into that. Uh, situation going into the portals, it's nerve wracking because you never know what to expect. You never know where you're gonna end up. You never know if you're gonna even get picked up by a team. So yeah, it was it was a scary process, but I'm glad I made the right choice for me, um, my family, and um, I'm excited to to show South Carolina what I got. Yeah, man. Spring practice will be starting before you know it. I know you guys are kind of diving into winter workouts right now, but what was kind of the message from the South Carolina coaches to you, whether that was Coach Beamer, Coach Traven Robertson, Coach Clayton White, just about what they saw in you? I, I know there's already a couple of veteran guys in that D-line room that you're going to be kind of yeah. teaming up with here in Columbia. <laughs> what was the message? And uh, You know, just kind of like, hey, here's what we like about you. Here's how we see you fitting into what we like to do. What do you kind of think of that scheme fit as far as their plan for you here? Yeah, so when they when they talked to me, they basically told me that uh, we're going to use your full year to our full advantage. You know, we're not going to waste your year. Um, and we're going to win the championship with that year. So that's what I plan to do. I plan to take full advantage of my year to help uh, better my game and go to a championship while doing that. I know um, I was watching a little bit of your film and uh, – I know you got a, a teammate, uh, Bengali Kamara, coming in as well. Um, Y'all's highlights at Pitt. I imagine it's not the exact same scheme, but it, is there some carryover? I know South Carolina runs some four-man front, some three-man front. Is there right. some carryover from what you've seen so far and what you were being asked to do at Pitt versus uh, what you're kind of going to be doing here? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, they run a four-man front. Uh, sometimes they run a three-man front on uh, obvious pass-down situations. So it's pretty much the same um, – you know, terminology is different. Uh, obviously, plays are different, so we've got to learn that. But everything else is pretty much a carryover from what I learned at Pitt uh, here at South Carolina. So, obviously, you come to Columbia as an experienced guy. You played a number of years on the field at Pitt. I guess just in terms of that experience there, what do you think you most sort of learned or, or how did your game most grow in terms of just using that on-field experience to now move that forward and bring it here to Columbia? Right. Um, you know, with Charlie Parchers at Pitt, you know, really helped me on and off the field. I feel like he really emphasized, you know, getting the call, 
uh, getting down, reading your keys, getting your, getting the great uh, get off, getting the great strike, you know, the full process of, a, of what a play takes to, you know, accomplish the play and finish it. Um, and I really got to improve all aspects of my game, you know, this year and the following years coming along my football career because, you know, no one's perfect, but you can strive to be perfect. So that's really what I'm working on this year is uh, everything in my game, you know, speed, technique, pass rush, um, run stoppings, uh, everything in my game that needs to be improved. It's kind of interesting. Uh, there's a couple of pit guys coming in. I mentioned earlier Kamara playing, you know, in the front seven there with you at pit. What uh, what what can you tell us about his game? Kind of playing alongside him for a number of years, and was yeah. there any carryover from either one of you of like, hey man, check out South Carolina, or did y'all both sort of make independent decisions, and it just so happens y'all end up at the same place? Yeah, so it was crazy because I didn't know he was gonna. I didn't know. South Carolina was reaching out to him until he told me. So it was kind of surprised, and uh, I'm glad he's here. Um, you know, he's a sideline to sideline uh, linebacker. He can rush the passenger. Um, he comes downhill strong, you know. Um, he has great stamina, never gets tired, great size. Um, so he's, he's a great addition for us, and I think he will show up this year, and I can't wait. For sure, for sure. So, um, as we were just talking about earlier, man, you, you've only been here a week, so I know you're kind of getting settled in. I imagine on the field and off the field, classes, finding out where the restaurants are, all that stuff. Yeah. But um, what what have the first? What has the first sort of workout experience been for you as far as being in Luke Day's system and um, mm -hmm. kind of just getting a feel? I know every strength coach has their own ways of doing things and I know Luke Day kind of unique in, in terms of some of those things yeah. what can you tell the fans out there about the workout so far I see you grinning it's always interesting to me to hear the transfers kind of talk about that experience so what can you tell us about that yeah it's definitely unique nothing I uh, really <laughs> came from my time at Pitt but it's it's a great work environment and it's fun competitive it's tough, you know, you're going to, they're going to get after you, but it's a, it's a great thing to have, especially when you're playing in the SEC, which is what I believe is the best conference in college football. So, um, you know, it's tough. It's a, it's a workout, you know, you're going to get tired and you're going to, you're going to sweat a little bit, but you know, that's, that's what you need in a uh, SEC program. Did, did, uh, did the SEC opportunity like play, playing in this conference, did that play oh, yeah, in? Sure. Your, yeah. It's definitely, um, you know, I just wanted to play with the, the big dogs in the SEC, um, which I'm not knocking the ACC, I believe. You know, we had Kalijah Kansi at, at Pitt go first mm -hmm. round, round in the ACC, but um, I just wanted to play with the big dogs, you know, get my feet wet playing in the SEC, playing the Georgias, the Alabamas, the, you know, you name it. But um, it was definitely a part of that, uh, my decision on coming here. Have you watched any South Carolina football games in the past, like seeing the stadium and the sandstorm and just the atmosphere? Mm -hmm. Or, like, have you have you experienced yeah, that? Or a would little be bit, the first you know, time? It's always that one clip of Jadavion Clowney making that tackle that keeps popping up my Instagram feed <laughs> somehow. But, um, you know, I've, I've watched a few games in South Carolina um, playing, you know, like I said, Alabama, Georgia, and stuff like that, and especially uh, – against you guys' rivals, or our, my, my rival now, um, Clemson. So, I've watched uh, those games. Definitely, man. So, um, I, I guess uh, uh, just for the fans to get to know you a little bit off the field here, we always like to ask guys, uh, you know, a couple of food questions, a couple of hobbies questions. So, um, you know, if, if you're not playing football, you're not working out, if you've yeah. got free time, like, so it can have nothing to do with athletics. What is DeAndre Jules doing in his free time? What what's kind of your go to hobby? Free time, if you get any food. free time. <laughs> yeah, when I do get free time, I love chilling with the family. I love chilling with my girlfriend. Uh, she's amazing. Um, I love playing the game, playing uh, Madden. Uh, I'm a big Fortnite guy. Recently, um, okay. I love vlogging. I got a YouTube channel coming out soon. First video will come out on Sunday, so. I've been doing that recently, vlogging, uh, you know, basically my life. Um, let's see. Uh, I love eating, eating different foods. Um, 
that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm pretty much a basic guy that just, you know, is in the moment, you know, loves feeling, loves uh, chilling with the family, you know, friends, what whatnot. It's really yeah. it's pretty much it. Yeah, man, a lot, a lot to unpack there, actually. So, do we have is the YouTube page up? Let's promote it a little bit. Do you know what it's going to be called? Yeah, it's up right now. Um, I, my first video drops on, on Sunday. Uh, it's called Jules. My last mm -hmm. name J U L E S. Um, so just look forward for that first video on Sunday. It's uh, it's basically me committing here, um, the official visit and how it went, and then after that we'll have weekly uploads, and hopefully cool. uh, elevate. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Everybody listening, everybody watching, go check that out when it drops on Sunday. And uh, you, you got some brownie points with the girlfriend for mentioning her on here, so that's good. <laughs> what uh, what did the girlfriend and the family think when you told them you were going to be a Gamecock and you were going to be playing in the SEC? Yeah, they're all for it, man. Um, you know, it's nothing compared to Pitt. Um, the weather is definitely nicer here, so <laughs> they were excited <laughs> for that. Um, you know, they came down here and they were just like, they're like, wow, you know, I can definitely see you being here. It's definitely a home environment and uh, they can't wait for that first game. No doubt. And you, uh, you mentioned food. So I got to ask what's, uh, what, what's the go-to number one yeah. food, you know, if it could be kind of mm -hmm. that last meal, if you could have anything, you know, you wanted, what what's kind of the go-to? Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm pretty basic, but Good steak, mashed potatoes. Um, that's pretty much it. Maybe some broccoli on the side. For dessert, dessert, yeah. I'm going to have to go with. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place with dessert. <laughs> okay. I'm in any, any sweet? We like all sweets? Yeah, I mean, all sweets. Nothing with peanut butter in it. Uh, Really? I'm not too big. Yeah, I'm not too big on peanut butter sweets, but okay. everything else, I'm crushing. <laughs> I I'm I had a feeling for some reason you were going with steak. Like I don't know, I could just feel yeah. that you were gonna say. I mean, that's that's a go-to. Um, you you cook any, or you more just eat out, or I know y'all uh, yeah. got food like crazy. Sometimes, at the yeah, sometimes I cook with uh, my girlfriend Sydney. Uh, we watch like TikToks and like recipes, and we just try to follow that. You know, we try to keep up. But that's about it. Um, hey, they, they got good recipes on there. Yeah, they do. So uh, definitely going to try to start cooking a little more. So, No doubt, man. So um, as, as we kind of close this thing out here, uh, spring ball on deck. That'll be here before you know it. Winter workout's going on right now. I, I guess um, maybe if you can, just give the fans a little bit of a behind-the-scenes. What's like a day in the life for you look like right now? In terms yeah. of you know, wake up, workouts. I don't know. I guess meetings, class. Maybe some of it's online. Mm -hmm. What does what a day in DeAndre Jewel's life look like? Right now, the week being here, um, to wake up at like let's say six o'clock, um, head over at six thirty, six thirty-five, uh, get breakfast, stretch, then. Uh, do the workout that's about an hour hour 30 um after that I get treatment hop in the tubs get a massage um get lunch and then i'll come back here depending on the day if i got a class at one o'clock i'll go to class if not i will uh, probably take a nap um get up from the nap uh right now i got meetings planned to get extra time with coach dove coach j dove Help me mm -hmm. with the plays and stuff, formations and all, like the new terminology here at South Carolina. And after that, um, I go on FaceTime, FaceTime my girl. She's back in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh right now. So I do that for a little bit. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Grab some food, grab some dinner, and head to bed. Bit busy that's day, it sounds like. Yeah, somewhat, depending yeah. on, like, the day and what class I got that day. Yeah. Not a, not much time, time for the video but, games. It sounds like, but, um, have, uh, when, when I do have free time, I'll try to like squeeze that in. Like maybe on the weekends, I try to, uh, 
squeezing some uh, video games, <laughs> hop on with the guys. Are uh, are are we pretty good? Like, are you? Um, oh yeah. Uh, no one see me in Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I got Madden locked down, man. So, are are you gonna are you in on the new NCAA video game that they're talking about may finally come out in the summer? I hope it comes out. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's. It's like a lot of he he say she say type of thing going on with that. I don't know if it's actually going to come out, but I hope it does. I'll be on that for sure. So I, I know a lot of guys have been asked as well that the rumor, like you said, it's all hearsay basically. But the rumor has been that each player would maybe be offered five hundred dollars to to actually be in the game. Uh, really? you're like you know, yeah, your face, your uh, measurables, all that stuff. Um, as a student athlete, what what do you think of that idea? Like, is is five? Are you like, well, shoot, I'm in a game plus I get five hundred bucks. Yeah, pretty I'll cool. be down for that. You're I in. Would, would, yeah, even if there's no money involved, I'll be down for that. That would be cool to see my face on the game, especially a football game like that. Like, yeah. can't beat it if you're a college athlete. Yeah, no so, doubt, man. No doubt. For um, for sure. So. uh all right, DeAndre, man, I know you, uh, you've got a busy day, like you said. We'll let you get back to it. Um, final thing, uh, do you want to you wanna say anything to the Gamecock fans just about um, what you're looking forward to, to doing on the field and, and obviously looking forward to hearing the support from them when you run out there at williams Price Stadium for the first time? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing that sandstorm for the first time, um, and I can't wait to help bring this team to it. Uh, SC championship and eventually a national championship this year. Um, but it all starts now. So let me get back to work. <laughs> no doubt. All right. Here's DeAndre Jules, South Carolina defensive lineman, transfer from Pitt. This has been another Garnet Trust exclusive interview. If you're out there listening or watching and you want to support student athletes like DeAndre and his teammates at South Carolina, go to GarnetTrust.com, sign up. Plenty of options that could be as low as like $10 a month. Or if you want to raise it from there, however high you want to go, you can support people like DeAndre over there at South Carolina. Again, that's GarnetTrust.com. Appreciate DeAndre. Appreciate everybody else for listening and joining us here in this Garnet Trust exclusive. We'll see you all soon.